Hi, I'm Lindsay and I work at OMSI and I'm here to present the experiment Lost Labels. Here we have an array of unknown powders in miscellaneous jars and the idea is for your students to try and figure out what are all these mysterious white powders. Now it is suggested that you have your students try a couple other experiments before this experiment so that they're familiar with some of the stuff we use in this experiment. Like for example of Cabbages and Kings where we make cabbage juice as an indicator and iodine in foam peanuts. For class setup, you can either have rotating stations where each station has a few of the unknown patterns as well as the indicators and then they can switch from station to station or you could also have each group of students have all 12 patterns and three of the indicators. The powder identification chart lists the properties of all 12 different powders. You should examine this chart with students to make sure they understand how to use it. Also, if you are not using all 12 powders, students can cross out the powders that are not included. We have other charts with different tests and different powders that you can use as well. For the student instructions, it is called for a pea-sized amount of powder. This is what we mean by a pea-sized amount of powder. For the powder identification chart in the column physical properties, students are asked to classify the white mysterious powders. Here are a couple examples. For this column, we have the coarse irregular chunks, fine powder, and small sharp edge crystals. For our milk powder brand, it turned out to be more of a regular chunk, so it depends on what brand you use. For the vinegar test, all five of these powders bubble because they have a carbonate in them. Here are the results for the iodine test for all 12 powders. Starch causes the iodine to turn a blue and, or black color. Baking powder has starch in it, so it shows the same result. Detergent and milk powder take the color out of the iodine, so it's clear. These six, as well as baby powder, do not react, so they don't change colors, and Alka-Seltzer bubbles. These are the different results for the cabbage juice test. This is cabbage juice by itself, it's a negative. Detergent turns a shade of green. Baking powder turns a shade of blue, as well as baking soda. Cream of tartar turns red, and Alka-Seltzer bubbles. Once the students are done with all of their tests, there are still two mysterious white powders that are yet to be identified, and that is salt and sugar. So in order to figure out which one is which, you can do a conductivity test. I have here batteries hooked up to wires, they're hooked up to nails, and hooked up to an LED light. Now to see that that works, all you have to do is put the clips together and you'll see that the bulb lights up. Now when you stick them in the salt water, you'll see that the bulb will light up. But you put it in sugar water, the LED light does not light up.